good sunny morning here in Chicago. We daily vlog. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure you come back every day. Cause look at this, this is gonna be the weekend. This is gonna be like this all weekend. It is Friday morning, happy weekend. I'm out getting some miles in before everybody else wakes up and I have to start work. And it's beautiful, it's like 75 and a little breezy off the lake. So happy you're here. We daily vlog. So if you like this video, come back tomorrow. Not sure if Peter ah! introed. Miss. We're starting out our Friday with bluey and toast. Ah! I was able to get some laundry folded with the power of Bubbles and Monsters Inc. Um, and I'm going to be headed back soon to the apartment. I just wanted to take James out for a little bit because it's so nice, but we are going out tonight. Um, but we want to get back because Peter's team is actually throwing him like a little virtual baby shower situation. And so we're gonna try to be there for that. It is James nap time soon. Um, but yeah, I just thought it was so gorgeous out. We finally like got through our morning routine. I was like, there is no need for us to be playing inside. It is so nice out. It's been in the nineties, which is like very hot for Chicago in May. But next week it is supposed to like go back to like our usual temperature. But with it being like this hot, who even knows if it'll get this hot again this summer? Um, we gotta take advantage. He's a naked kid. Look at that sweaty sunscreen jacket. I went to go lay with him because he was waking up and he was in our room. And he just like smelled like a summer kid, and then he like snuggled into me. But he had a major peep session, like through his. He might, I don't know if it was a, maybe it was laying weird, but it came but all the shorts and the shirt. So it's a grown up. Yeah. Oh. oh. So now we're resting. I'm basically done with work. Sarah's so got the vlog going. We have a relaxing but fun night ahead of us because it's beautiful. I think I'm gonna take James to go get a bottle of wine right now. And we're gonna get some sort of cold ice cream Italian ice. Situation. All right, I am signed off for the weekend. I think potentially for my last week. You know, I, but I, I mean, like this might be my last weekend before I'm out on maternity leave. So James and I are gonna walk over to Jewel, grab some bread, and I think a bottle of wine or something to kick off this weekend. So we're at the Jewel. We're about to be the jewel. We're actually meeting up with our friend Jenna from ACS. You've seen her, you love her, you miss her. We're gonna meet up with her, hang out at the beach, walk around, go get either Italian ice or ice cream, we'll see. But that's not until after dinner. I just wanna get out and enjoy some of this beautiful sun um, while it's here, you know? Gotta do it. It's only a couple months out of the year here in Chicago. Okay, we have a few different things going on here for dinner tonight. 
I got pasta going. I'm gonna make like a pesto, like a buttery pesto sauce to go on the noodles. A little berry salad, chopped up some blackberries, strawberries, blueberries. And then my favorite way, this is so summery to me, to have a fruit salad is put lemon juice and then sprinkle sugar on top. It is so good. So I'm gonna put this in the fridge so it can continue to be chill while the boys are gone. Then making a little tomato salad with two tomatoes, half an onion, um, and the other half, I have just started my little sauce. So chopped up this onion, olive oil, salt, pepper, garlic. All right, we got our milks, we got our wines, we got our bread, we got a fancy drink for Sarah. We are ready to check out. When this is all done. I topped it with red wine vinegar, olive oil, then salt, pepper, garlic, and basil. Mix that all up. Then put balsamic glaze on top of that and just sort of lightly mix that up so you'll get like bigger pieces of the glaze like still in it. So there is that. This meal isn't totally plant-based because our pesto does have cheese in it, but I have some vegan butter and that is now melting with the onions. And then I just have to add the, the pesto and the pasta back in. And here's the final pasta. Just tossed it in the butter, onion, pesto concoction. Then I always top my pasta with salt and pepper. Then I also had Peter get some Italian bread from Jewel, so I chopped some of that up. Made a little olive oil dipping sauce with some balsamic salt and red pepper. And that is real butter to spread if we want. Jamesy, this is a special place. It's the Rosenbaum Garden, of course. Uh. <laughs> That's it. That's it's all it. A Daddy proposed to me here. And she said yes, foolishly. What are you, you escaping for? Oh gosh. Look at these two going to the beach. <laughs> No land, so it's a beach. Whoa! Jamesy just went in the water. It was too cold for him, but he loved it for the first like minute. <laughs> nope. Grab my hand. Really wants to go back in the water. <laughs> so I can't vlog while we get him in because he wants to hold both my hands. But look at this. Navy Pier, skyline, sun, golden hour. Pretty nice. We're gonna get some Italian ice soon here, I think. Hanging out with our friend Jenna. She's the best. Starting fundraising for ACS as of today. Link down below. Trying to get two hundred fifty dollars this weekend. James found somebody else's hole, so like a hermit crab, he's commandeering it. You burying your leg? I think he's having the best time of his life here at this this beach. Sarah also pointed out she's fairly certain we forgot to pack snacks, toys, a bottle, or a change of clothes. Um, we were just kind of like, it's Friday, let's go. But hey, that's how the Brookhart family rolls sometimes. Sometimes you just gotta figure it out on the fly. For anybody that hasn't been around to the vlog very long, 
This is the Drake Hotel, famous Chicago Hotel Walt Disney stayed here before. And at that gazebo, I proposed to Sarah. So there's street parking uh, behind this porta potty, but there's two street parking on both sides of the street. So it's a really good deal for like one or two hours before we go get Italian ice. Alrighty, so we have headed to uh, Taylor Street to get some Mario's Italian ice to end our little, our night out. And the OG Al's Beef is right across the street. And there is a long line, but it should move pretty sweet. What do you do when the line at Mario's is really long? You walk across the street and you get some original Al's Beef. James, it's your first time in the original Al's Beef. We're not even gonna get a beef, we're gonna get french fries. Maybe a Polish. Ah. Check it out, they got a Gary Smith picture. I just realized also, I haven't been here in this one in a long time, but they have the Rob Blagojevich out of the jail bars because he got pardoned. Stanley Cup, some weather people. Classic. This is a classic sign right here, recovering vegetarians welcome. I'm looking at Sarah and Jenna now. They're like halfway through the line, so it's gonna work out perfectly. Right? I got your french fries. This is Chicago right here. Big old line for Mario's Italian lemonade and ice. All right, we have not had Mario's Italian ice in years. It's like, this is the thing that we probably do the least amount of justice yeah. from our UIC family days is this. So I'm really happy we're here. Oh man. Jenna has her first Mario's, right? Mm-hmm. All cherry? We're having yeah. at it. He likes all food. You're gonna get yours. Your <laughs> you have two coming your way. What'd you guys get? I got all cherry, just like you and Sarah got. Watermelon and cantaloupe. Let's see. I like those because they like they have the actual fruit in them. You like it? Thumbs it's up. Really good. Classic Chicago like, UIC. Oh, yeah. It's like a Thursday. Yes. No better way to do this than to backseat party it up party. for our Italian ices and our French fries and Polish. Say so you're a city kid without saying you're a city kid. Taylor shoe without shoes on with a snow shovel. Like move forward with any procedures. You're already done? Wow, it's fast. James is really tired. Um, just because I didn't have any procedures done to like kickstart labor, I'm still doing everything to like have myself go into labor on my own. So, and, and prep my body for labor and delivery too. So like still drinking my labor tea. I haven't been as good about eating the dates, but um, all of the stretches and whatnot I'm keeping up. Also, I don't think I mentioned yesterday, Teddy is no longer sunny side up, but that doesn't mean he can't change positions again. Um, so I'm not doing all of the same like spinning babies recommendations that I got last week from my midwife because they must have done their job. So I'm just focusing on the stretches that like prep your body for labor and delivery and like make space for the baby to get engaged and in the right spot. So I'm gonna do a few stretches. I think we're gonna put on Gilmore Girls and then go to bed. All right, creepy Friday the 13th. The The first 70% of the day was very Friday the 13th. And the tattoo shop in our neighborhood had such a long line, it was so funny. Sam Walton says, nothing else can quite substitute for a few well-chosen, well-timed, sincere words and praise. I love you dearly. I love you too. It sounded like you were gonna say um, Arrivederci. Arrivederci. You know how you say that a lot, and so that's why I like pause. <laughs> Are you playing a trick on me? 
Um, we're fundraising ACS again. Chicago Marathon. Chicago Marathon. Our goal is to do to raise two hundred and fifty dollars this weekend. Mm -hmm. We've already raised sixty. If we raise two hundred fifty dollars this weekend, we will do a live stream this weekend. Gosh. Well, like we won't know until so it'll be probably like Monday. <laughs> well, I mean, if we hit the goal tomorrow when this when this posts, so if you're watching this on Saturday. We could hit our goal on Saturday and then yeah. do the live stream Sunday. That's true. That's true. That's true. That's true. It's good to be home. It's good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.